Good morning, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to BT Talks. Today I have the one and only <laughs> John Wilson, uh, my good friend and oh. colleague at Douglas Elliman. He's also responsible of sales here at Solimar. We're at Solimar Pompano Beach Sales Gallery. This is going to be a fun episode. <laughs> And I'm going to start by uh, introducing John. Actually, John's going to tell us about his journey into the world of luxury real estate uh, and the real estate in South Florida and working with Solimar. John, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I love this guy. It's so funny. <laughs> Benjamin and I met. I was at the Lincoln Road office um, waiting to see somebody and Benjamin walks up. It was weird. It's like, I know this guy from somewhere, but we didn't know each other whatsoever. Yeah and immediately just connected, and Ben and I are all about relationships. Well, that's real estate. Real estate's about long-term relationships, exactly. and just a phenomenal, you can see the smile on my face when I'm around. Look at this. I, love <laughs> I just do. So much good energy, but I, yeah. have, I have to add, you know, uh, John was the first person I met when I joined <laughs> Douglas Elliman, and he left an impression. So always remember, first impression counts. Yeah, big time. Um, so John, tell us about you and your journey into real estate. So. My journey into real estate, I have to talk about a couple of other things. So um, a couple of things, I grew up in Pennsylvania, but my dad and my grandfather invested in real estate in Florida. Matter of fact, my dad came here in 1962 and started buying pre-construction real estate on Gold Ocean Mile. Um, the, the Solomar is in Pompano, it's about 10 minutes south of here. So I um, was very fortunate to spend a lot of time here. Um, my dad retired early. We uh, lived in condos on Gold Ocean Mile, very fortunate for that. I worked on Wall Street for 25 years, um, loved that. Uh, the problem was is it was rewarding, but I wasn't around my family a lot because I had offices all out throughout the country in Canada. And so at age, like I think 39 or 40, I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. And I dabbled around, uh, Lisa is my wife, we had building businesses, I've done different things. About five years ago, we had a, I guess it would be called a building concierge service. We would oversee uh, renovations in people's homes and all our clients were realtors. And Lisa and I were talking and I was like, wow, we could do this. And I love real estate and I love dealing with people and I love relationships, as I just said earlier with Benjamin and other people. So we wanted the real estate. We couldn't jump into it at both times. So Lisa came in five years ago first I still ran our business, and then a year later, I was able to do it full time, and I just can't tell you how much I love it. Um, it's you not can, you work. can you can see the passion he has. Yeah, no, it's it's. <laughs> I just I just I love what I do. I, I learned early on, very very quickly. Yes, our business is about clients, and we need them. But I learned very early that our business really is about other agents and brokers, and so. I built my business on one, long-term relationships. Everyone should be doing that because that's what real estate really is. It's all, it's all long-term. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's not complicated whatsoever. Yeah. And um, I, would go to a, I would go to every event. He's smiling because he knows. Yeah. We would go to any event that there was, whether it was Miami and Palm Beach, but we started to build relationships. And what we found out of those relationships was it's much easier to negotiate with someone that you know, someone that's a friend instead of just an agent that you don't know. Of course. Um, and um, I love what I do. I get up every morning with just a complete passion for this. I love meeting people. Um, I'm at Solomar. We'll talk a little bit about that later. But every, almost every day, I come to this gorgeous sales center that's located on the ocean, and I get to interact with others. And so I see a lot of our friends have joined. We have uh, Glenn Asher, who's, he, who's What's saying, up, Glenn? "Handsome Devix." We have my friend Carrie in London. Uh, she's always very supportive. Thank you. She was on the show a few weeks ago. Um, so there's actually also something I wanted to ask you. Um, you been with your wife Lisa for how for how long 35 years 35 years and 35 you also years. work with her how do you manage the the work in life um, that, that's <laughs> a game that's a challenge on a daily basis anyone that knows Lisa and I a lot of the people watching do um, we're very headstrong um, we both think we're right about everything uh, but we've been together for 35 years um, what you realize in marriage is this is cooperation, is, is communication, and 
Um, we're Lisa and I are just a, a knockout team together. What can there I say? There you go. We, That's we, the best way to, to we've say We've been it. together <laughs> so long. We have a lot of passion. And again, when we went into real estate, priority one was others first. It was never about our commission. It was never about a sale. Nothing to do with it. It was about building long-term relationships and bringing value. And when you're married to someone who lives and breathes real estate, and trust me, we live and breathe real, real estate, estate, especially yeah. right now, um, it's easy. And, and, and um, we share ideas, and Lisa will see something that I don't, and I'll see something that she doesn't. So Lisa's details, She's all about the contract. You guys compliment each other. Yeah, yeah. Don't come to me about a contract. <laughs> Wrong guy. Um, I'm more as far as uh, networking. You're the social guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really. I'm a social butterfly, whatever you want to call it. But it works. It works. Yeah. And, and um, we have a lot of fun. Just a great time. So uh, the next question I want to bring up is we are both at Douglas Element. And we are truly passionate about Douglas Element and the people in our business. What's so powerful to you within our Douglas Element family? Relationships. Relationships. Um, I, it's such a huge network, and what you realize is that you have. I've built so many relationships. My closest friends are Element agents. Keep that in mind. I've only been here four years, five years. So it's yeah. not like we've been here forever, but it's 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 the it is the network of Element. I started going to New York to build relationships with Element agents. At uh, first I did it every now and then. Then I realized you weren't gonna build a relationship by seeing someone every now and then, just like you're not gonna build a relationship with a significant other by every now and then. You have to spend time. And so um, I would go to New York a lot. I'm lucky all three of my sons live in the city and my sisters, so I got to see them at the same time. But I started networking all these relationships and did, it, did I get immediate gratification out of that? Well, meeting people I did, but there was no big benefit as far as tons of referrals and then COVID hit. And all of a sudden, it just, all that work. So when you're doing something and you're working hard and it feels like I'm not getting someplace. No, no, you are. You have you to are. stay active. And those seeds that we planted with other agents, you know, a farmer plants something. He doesn't see an immediate, I he always, waters it, but he doesn't see an immediate. But, but I always, you know, say that, you know, we, we plant seeds until they blossom. And uh, I know what I've been doing the past year is really I planted a lot of seeds um, the past year and now they're really starting to blossom and I also believe to talk about the Douglas Elliman family I've connected with so many great agents not just in South Florida But across the country because we're in all markets from New York the Hamptons Boston LA um, Aspen all these markets and it's this feeling of belonging. I mean there, there hasn't been someone within Douglas Elliman that is not uh, Nice or not reachable or everybody's actually really responsive. There's this really entrepreneurial um, culture and we're also very lucky here in uh, South Florida to have an incredible CEO Jay Parker uh, who's also very much available um, but yeah I mean that's the feeling you have as well oh big time it's like um, I remember when I first came to Element and Jay Parker gives out a cell phone number it's like this is my cell number so I'm like is this really his cell number but literally um, Jay um, Gus um, Everyone. Ingrid who's uh, my broker just so many of them, but it, it's truly, they're there to support you. You can call them anytime. And just one last thing, I, I did a Zoom call about Solomar in California. We had like over a hundred agents attended and, and I ended up meeting so many people on that Zoom call. So it's a huge network, it's phenomenal. Uh, I'm Element, uh, you cut me, I'm gonna, there we I, go. I'm gonna bleed blue and white. There Seriously, we go, I just, so I love we, the we are Element family. So. We're gonna, so I have, uh, yeah, I have some friends. So Charles, who is actually between Tel Aviv and Dubai. And then we have Kerry, who is asking a question and then we'll jump onto Solomar. So Kerry's asking, John, have you ever had scenarios where you have genuinely tried to forge relationships with other agents who weren't open to it? And how did you deal with that? Good question. And yes, absolutely. Agents are humans. Um, we have good days and bad days. <laughs> um, Sometimes I've been like um, sort of pushed off by somebody and then all of a sudden you meet them a little bit later and they were just having a bad day. Um, so I continue to do that. I think that to be successful in life, you have to come out of an area of gratitude and service. Always. So always when always. I go to meet someone, it's not like, hey, what can you do for me? No, it's what can we do for each other? Like uh, Benjamin and I, our relationship is one of 
of where we both benefit from different things. I've met so many people um, through Benjamin. And so, I've met also a lot of people through John. So. so I think that relationship building is important. Great question. I would say continue to pursue. And then if the person's not interested, guess what? You go to the next person. It's just like here. I'm presenting this incredible project all day long. Some people are going to take to it and they're going to see the vision behind it. Others won't. There's yeah. nothing I can do about that. And, 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 yeah, something I'll add that is very important that I learned as well in the business is never have expectations because when you have expectations, you're always disappointed. Yeah. Things don't always happen like you want, so that's also an important point. A big key to a long-term marriage, expectations too. <laughs> expectations are relationship killers. So that's an awesome Yeah, one. yeah, you gotta be, you gotta be able to float and roll with exactly. them. Exactly. Sam is here. Hi, Sam. We have my friend also, Mike, who just joined. Thank you so much. And then Carrie saying, great response, thanks, and totally agree. Service to other wins big first. Time. I agree. So now let's jump on to Solomar. Tell us about what Solomar is about, how you you know, join the project, tell us sure. about it. So I raised my children in Pompano Beach. So first off, Solomar is located in Pompano. It, honestly, it is the la one of the last quintessential South Florida beach towns left. In that, there's not a lot of commercial businesses here. There are restaurants. This is a plug for Solomar. There are restaurants, a 20 minute walk down the beach directly on the sand. Uh, but Pompano has always talked about rejuvenation and right now it, it is happening. It has large, huge beaches and the beaches are the old Florida beaches that I remember from when I was growing up. Uh, there's a lot of vegetation, there's, there's palm trees, it's, it's very tropical. The city of Pompano has done a phenomenal job. They've revitalized, revitalized the downtown, the restaurants. There's a boardwalk right down the street and on weekends they have uh, free yoga classes on the beach. I've attended them, like over a hundred people start out. Um, they're going to build a five-star resort marina right down the street. Um, so it's it, it, it's amazing. And you know what's great? It's close to everywhere you want to be. It's true. I can be in Fort Lauderdale in 10 minutes. I can be in Boca in, in 15 minutes. I can be in Bal Harbor, which has phenomenal shopping. Uh, ben As will can, tell you that that's going to gravitate me um, <laughs> anytime. Um, and you're 45 minutes there. And if you really want to go for the go for it, Worth Avenue, under an hour. Um, so, and yet, you can go to all these places that are so active, and yet you can come back here to open beaches, to peace and tranquility. One thing I'll, I'll say that makes it very unique, um, Pompano has one of the oldest inlets in the state of Florida, it's Hillsborough Inlet. It still has a functioning lighthouse. I live like 10 minutes north of here, and at night from my backyard, you can see that light from the lighthouse and when you're when you're a resident at Solomar you'll have that uh, view every night so um, it's amazing also um, we have a lot of people coming from New York where can I keep my yacht 10 minutes away is Lighthouse Point Marina they can handle up yachts nice. up to over so tell us feet. about the building its amenities its features everything that's unique about Solomar so the building I'll tell you the number one what's what's a very unique it is a boutique building this is not a big building and that no makes a big difference. No one's looking for that right now. Yep. Um, we started out at, a, at 105 residences. We are selling, we are already 35% sold, which we are so thankful for. Um, and a lot of that comes up to the privacy of the building. We're down now to about 100 residents because we've been doing some blendings. It's a related project. I mean, when, you, when you're working with related, George Perez and Nick and the whole group, just, just, Goldman Sachs of real estate development, biggest developer in Florida, mm -hmm. um, yep. and, and, and one of the biggest ones in the country. They're known for their five-star amenities, full-time concierge service. We have um, a spa treatment room, wine tasting rooms. We have a full fitness center. We have a club room. And the best thing is, is we have a sunrise deck but we also have a sunset deck. So we have two swimming pools. What's really unique is on our west side, I grew up in condos like I told you. Usually all the goodies, all the amenities are on the beach side and look, that's where they should be. Much different here. We have that, but then on the west side, we have a 13,000 square foot amenities deck, which I'll show you in one second. And it has hammock rooms, fire pits, outdoor grills. So just imagine at the end of the day coming home, having a drink, having friends over, watching the sunset go down and it just, and full service attendance on both sides. Like I said, concierge, door service. 
this is the best part. All buildings say that we want you to feel like you're living at a resort. And, and obviously we're bringing that. I'll tell you one great thing. Our vision here was a little different. We wanted to make you feel like you're living at your own private beach club. And it's so funny. We get that so much from our clients. Yes. And it's also, I see very much oriented towards health, health and wellness. Um, it also is going to incorporate the uh, Delos system mm -hmm. uh, and the Delos system is going to be in all homes where there is air purification, water filtration, I believe there's some cer certain Circadian lighting, lighting, everything. This is, I, I believe, the second building uh, in the United States, second residential building to have it. The first one is actually Villa Valencia in Coral Gables. Uh, I actually had a BT talk with the developer Rishi Kapoor last week. So that's also very important because more and more people, especially nowadays, are going towards, you know, health and wellness amenities. It's becoming more and more important. So now, we're one second, yeah, go ahead. Um, I want to share something. It always has been, but right now, especially what we've gone through um, this past year, health is the new wealth. Hundred percent. You could have all the money in the world if you don't have your health. You have nothing. And, and part of the building, it like Ben's, is the water filtration, is the air cleaner, is the sarcale. So not only are we bringing you five star amenities and resort, we're bringing you health and wellness. So important to everyone right now. So exactly. No, that's fine. So now actually we're going to go on a little tour of the sales gallery. You'll get a little feel uh, for the kitchen, for the bathroom. We're going to go outdoor on the deck and you'll see the incredible beach and just the location is it's just phenomenal you'll, you'll get an idea of how it looks and uh we'll take it from there oh, i see Thedis who just joined our friend miguel from san diego thank you for joining What's going on? <laughs> uh Somebody my friend jamie is here. look this look, is element all, look we're just cool. rattling on I love and, it. I and love it's it. not just element for for benjamin and i it's the whole brokerage community exactly so guys let's go hold on let me turn around the camera here we are. So John is going to guide us. So this is our sales center. Yes, I get to come here every day and I love it. And I want to come over to the model briefly and just give you a view of that. So here it is. Just beautiful. Again, small boutique building. Um, a lot of our residences are flow through. So the typical condo is going to be condos on the ocean and then condos facing west, not at Solomar. Every single residence is direct ocean views. And of the six stacks that we have in this building, four of them are flow throughs. So not only you get to see the beach and you get to see the sunrise and everything else, but it flows all the way through. To huge so I'll give you a little closer look. Yeah, go ahead. With huge terraces that overlook tons of glass. Look at this. Here we go. So this is actually going to front the ocean. You have a little beach. And look at, I want you to look at the beach, look at the palm trees, the seagrass. It's all about an organic, raw feeling when you're here and more of a tropical feeling. And that was one of our goals when we produced this. Here we go. This is our 13,000 square feet amenities deck. Um, there's gas grills, there's outdoor seating, there's fire pits. This is for people that don't want to get a lot of sun exposure. Right here is a hammock room and there'll be hammocks hanging from the ceiling just to chill. This is about one thing. It's about being able to enjoy the South Florida lifestyle both in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. And on top of that, it's just nothing but peace and relaxation. And this is about three stories high, so it's very, very far off the street. So, so let's go to the kitchen and get a feel for the finishes, and then we'll see the bathroom. So this is pretty close to scale. Um, just what I love about this is, is a lot of designers now, this is porcelain countertops it's very durable it doesn't stay it looks gorgeous we have a couple choices we offer this in this offering in white we also offer it in dark gray our kitchen cabinets are italia craft from italy related has used them for years there's some snacks if you come by you can have this is amazing and this is but amazing yes this is natural gas piped right off the street our friends in the northeast just go nuts when they see this one other thing our hood, you'll notice, 
It's very minimal. We don't want it to take a lot of attention. Our lines are more clean here, but what's amazing, this actually vents outside. Big deal to someone who cooks a lot. We're offering you large storage. This is a whole pantry that goes all the way back. Wolf Tier 1 uh, appliances. Um, our coffee and espresso made that Dennis made us this morning, which is fabulous. Microwave and then full stove. Sub-Zero large refrigerator full up. Ah, we got some champagne. We champagne. <laughs> you got to come up here. Um, and then two free th freezer drawers. These will spoil you. Instead there of you bending go. down, you just have to look in there. There's a wine cooler right there. There you go. And then if you look at the faucet and sink, I point that out, everything has a faucet and sink, yeah. but that every single residence has the sink over facing the ocean. And so everyone, if you're stuck doing the dishes, you'll still be happy at there Salomar you go. by having the gorgeous So view. let's go see the, the bathroom. Look at the master bath. So look at this. Very spa-like setting, huge soaking tub. Some of our residents have a large window where the soaking tub is so you can overlook the beach as you relax. Please um, show the well, Toto toilet. I like to say just show up, it knows everything to do. <laughs> it's perfect. And then, and then you have rose gold fixtures, which people just rave about the rose gold. Um, Arte, which is another phenomenal element project, did the same thing. Um, large soaking tub, large shower head, no curb in the shower. You simply just walk in. Just, Impe impeccable finishes. Yeah, just gorgeous. And now let's see the outdoors. Yeah, let's, let's go outside because that's really the reason that we're all here and to look at this is the outside. There you go. I am going to show you one of the most beautiful beaches in all of South Florida. That's not because I'm here, but just, I want you to look at this. So just, so look at this. Take a moment, take a deep breath, relax. Here we go. So this is where Solimar is going to be. We have a beautiful beach. We can hear the birds, the palm trees. So typical South Florida beach, very narrow, not here. 250 feet linear and 300 feet depth. So we're going to leave all of this and then we're gonna cut out little pathways through so it's almost like a little tropical oasis. If you look a little bit down to the north, Benjamin, if you could, that's the Pompano Beach International Fishing Pier and right down there are three restaurants directly on the sand so you could take a nice stroll down there but just total peace and tranquility. That's the thing that everyone gets excited about this. There we go. The, the so, so before we finish, uh, there's a few questions. There we go. So my friend Jennifer, uh, who's in Boulder, she was asking, is the wall Neolith? I believe that was in the bathroom. Do you know? If not, is that Neolith? Um, that I do not know the answer, but I can check for you. There we go. There's Thetis, gorgeous view. So we have a lot of people. We have Dan who just joined. Uh, and then Jennifer saying that's super smart to create the paths. So yeah, <laughs> I love it. It's really cool. So guys, thank you so much for joining BT Talks with John. Um, if you are in South Florida, if you're interested in Solimar, you know who to reach. John, <laughs> feel free to message me as well. We're happy to help you with anything down here. And we really appreciate you guys joining here. If you are local, yeah, come on. Come here for a private preview. I would love to be your host. You'll love it. And you can look at Benjamin at the same time. There you go. Guys, thank you so much. Thank Dan, you. there's Dan Benishu who says hello. What's up, Dan? How are you? Let's get together soon. All right, guys. Thank you for joining BT Talks. Until next time, have a beautiful day. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. We crushed it. It was so good. <laughs> Let me hold best on. Best BT Talks ever. It was best. Okay. And now, okay, let's get in.